Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about taking home decor that you already have and may not like as much as you did and repurposing it to fall in love with it all over again. So this is my clock wall. And for some reason, I had this Mr. and Mrs. sign on my clock wall. And I took it off the wall and I brought it in my bedroom. I put it on my headboard and I fell in love with it. So sometimes it's just taking decor you already have and moving it to a different location and you end up falling in love with it. So for this first project, I am gonna take this galvanized W that I got from Hobby Lobby quite a few, probably years ago and it just doesn't fit my decor anymore. At first, I absolutely love that teal color, but not so much anymore. So this will show you that you can even take things that you've gotten from Hobby Lobby and repurpose them, give them a little makeover, add in some paint, and it turns into a whole new item. And you'll fall in love with it all over again, and you didn't have to spend any money unless you don't have the paint on hand. But that's a simple cheap fix so on my W there was already distressing on it it came that way and when I painted over it you could see where those little circles of distressing were so I just took my diamond nail file <laughs> from Dollar Tree and I highlighted where it was already distressed I also sanded around the edges just to give it a more updated farmhouse distress look but what was so neat about this is I could just go in where those circles were and sand down that paint and it brought out the um, galvanized metal look not so much the teal now granted when I went around the edges yes it did bring out a little bit of teal but oh my gosh I am loving this W so much more than I did before Originally, I actually had this W on that same clock wall and it just didn't go, but look at it now. Oh my gosh, so fresh and I love the clean white look and it goes beautiful in my farmhouse decor now. So now we're going to head on into the kitchen. I have this on the side of my pantry. I just made up this little fresh market area. But, well, or I can't even see what that says now. Um, life is better in the country, I think, is what that little sign says. And it blended in, and it really just didn't pop. So going back, I'm using... I forgot to tell you guys, I'm using Plaster Waverly for almost every project in this video. I gave it a fresh coat of paint, then I came in with my coffee bean in acrylic paint, and I just highlighted the edges. I tend to go crazy when highlighting or distressing, so I really tried with this project to stick to what I wanted to do from the get-go and just highlight the edges of this little sign. It looks so much better. It 
granted it's not that super vibrant pop but you can see it's so much better now and i really love how this turned out just by adding a little bit of paint didn't have to spend any money So when coming up with the idea for this video, I got so excited, I took everything down and forgot to video where I had this stuff to begin with. <laughs> so up above my door was this sign. I made a video a while back when I first started my channel. This was a thrift store sign that I painted and just used wall words from Dollar General and it said, bless this home and all who enter. It was super cute and it's been hanging up above my door ever since I created it. But I just wanted a different look. I wanted something more white more farmhouse in just to fit better with my decor so I took the wall words off of the sign and gave it a great coat of that plaster in Waverly and then came back in and did the what I love to do most is distress and gave the sign a little bit of distress in. and I also printed off from Google Images a autumn sign to Mod Podge on this What's neat about that is it's easily removed, so you can use the base sign since it's freshly painted, distressed, all that good stuff. You can use the base and you can change it out and just Mod Podge something else on top of it. Because I'm using chalk paint on all of these items, I do come in with some clear wax from Lowe's and I finish it off with a nice clear coat of that wax. It really brings out the distressing and it makes it nice and smooth and it protects the paint. So getting a little thing of clear wax is always a great idea, especially if you're using chalk paint on projects. You wouldn't believe the effect it has after you're done. And now I moved it to my ladder and I just have it sitting on top and I think it's so cute, so great for the fall season and I absolutely love the sign. And like I said, once the season's over, if you want to change it up, you can Mod Podge something else on this. So it actually is so versatile and it saves you tons of money. So on that same ladder, I had this fake book. It's a little storage book, and I got this years ago again at the thrift store, and it's dark, and I just wanted to brighten this up. And while watching one of my favorite YouTubers, April from House to Home, I noticed she had a similar book in her decor, and it was all painted white and distressed. So thank you, April, for giving me this idea to grab my book and give it a fresh coat of paint, add some distressing, add some clear wax, and I absolutely love this book now. So if you guys aren't familiar with April, go check out her videos. Go check out her channel. It's called House to Home, and she's amazing, and she's so sweet and so adorable, and you'll fall in love.
tried to do minimal distressing on the edges, but on like the binder where the pages would be on this, I did come in with my sanding disc and really roughed it up to really make that part different from the rest of the book. And then I came in with my clear wax again. And the most of the distressing I'm doing, I'm just using a diamond nail file from Dollar Tree. Amazing, amazing. I moved the book over on top of my fireplace and I absolutely love this. And you'd be surprised how many times you can find these at the thrift store. I've actually seen them quite a few times. So next time I see it, I'm grabbing me another one. So this is something I've had in my thrifting stockpile for quite a while. And I don't know why I never got it out and redid it. Maybe because I just didn't have the time. So I'm going to do that in this video. And I'm taking that plaster and I'm giving this a nice coat of paint. And if you notice on the spindles, you can still see the wood coming through. That's because when I painted the spindles, I just kept taking my paintbrush and going back and forth, leaving those grooves wood or it's best, some of the paint does go in there, but if you don't like totally go around it with your brush and just go up and down, it leaves that wood and it saves you time distressing later. Cause I really wanted that part of the spindle to still be wood and still pop. And then I just painted it all white. I think I did two coats. Coming in with that nail file again, I went around the grooves and distressed. And then I did just a little bit of distressing on the pole just here and there, wherever I thought it needed it. But I really didn't have to do much to the spindles because of the way I painted it, you could still see the wood. So I wanted this on my counter, but it was too tall. It didn't fit under my cupboards. So then I tried putting it on my hutch and I really didn't like that up there. I mean, this is so cute. I love the way it turned out, but I didn't like it on top of the hutch. So I went back to my countertop <laughs> and I put it on the opposite end of my sink. Not really where I want it because it's not next to the coffee pot, but I guess I'm just going to have to rearrange some of my counter space to make this work. I can't wait to decorate this for Christmas and put some cute Christmas mugs on this. I'm so excited. I got this out, added a little paint, and I'm so in love with this piece. So this next piece is also a piece I got from the thrift store and it's been in my stockpile. And I know why it was in my stockpile, because I didn't like the basket. I love the base, the wooden little wheelbarrow base, but I didn't like the basket on there. And I think I just gave up on trying to figure out what to do with it. So I brought it out and I thought, let's just start by adding white to everything, the whole base and I added white to the basket. So while I'm painting, I'm brainstorming and I'm thinking, what can I do to see if I will fall in love with the basket being on there? It was um, secured to the base with a screw and I knew if I took it off, I just didn't know what else to put on it. So I decided to come in with some folk art in black and just paint the top lip and the bottom lip. I did this while the white paint was wet so that I would get some grays and the black and the white coming through. It was okay, but I decided to come back after it was dried and I added more white to the top. And I kind of like that better. I'm still not in love with this, but it's better. Then I came back in with that nail file and I gave this some distressing. Really did like the edges and a little bit here and there in the center. But on the wheel, I heavy distressed this because I figured on a real wheelbarrow, that wheel would be the um, part of the wheelbarrow that really got the most use. And that would be a lot heavier um, distressed and worn down than the rest of the wheelbarrow. I 
still can't say I love the basket. Um, I did put a plant from Marshalls in there. It is cute. I, I'm still on the fence with this one, but I love how the base turned out. So I hope this inspired you to take some home decor that maybe you're not so much in love with and try adding some paint and distressing it and see if you fall in love with it all over again. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, ring that bell, and hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out. I love y'all and I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. See you again soon. Bye y'all.